Welcome to Grace for Today. If you're enjoying these episodes, like we say, please go over to our YouTube channel, subscribe there, hit the bell icon, you'll have notifications, and go to our Facebook page, like it and share it, because we want to share this message of goodness, of favour, of grace, of love with the people around us. So, we're going to talk this morning about when God can use us. It says in 1 Corinthians 1, 30-31, but of, but of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that as it is written, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Now yesterday we talked about um, not being afraid of weakness, because actually that's where we can really understand God's strength and God's power working through us, and that it is his redemptive work in our lives. It's not about our own efforts or performance, because we don't want to boast in ourselves. I know there's times when I've relied on my own ability, but actually I've fallen short. I've thought, you know, Lord, I've got this covered. And it's not even that we consciously think that, but subconsciously we're going about life and we're pushing the Lord to the side and we're getting on with things and everything seems to be going swimmingly. And then all of a sudden we hit a roadblock and we realize, actually, Lord, I haven't been leaning on you. I haven't been dependent on you. I've just been getting by. I've been thinking everything's going well, but actually I've just been drawn from my own strength. And we all know our own resources basically will run out. We will get to the end of ourselves and we'll find ourselves feeling defeated, feeling deflated, wondering what we're supposed to do. But the Lord, he knows that, he made us, he understands our frame, he understands everything about us, and he knows that we were never designed to go about life in our own strength, in our own abilities. And actually, we are required, we need to depend on him. That's, that's how we've been designed, that's how we've been created, and that's actually where life is gonna flow. And when he gets the glory, it's actually, then we are gonna enjoy life, then we are gonna just become everything that he's called us to be. So let's not boast in ourselves, but let's boast in Jesus and his glory within us. Think about it, um, I was thinking, you know, in Moses' life, you know, when he, he grew up as um, very, a very favored life, he was growing up um, in the palace in Egypt. He had all of the, <clears throat> the blessings of that, in a sense, all of that goodness of um, that privileged lifestyle. And yet, and you would have thought that then, you know, from that position of strength and power, he would have been the ideal candidate just to, to come in and sweep in and, and, and take over for the Lord and bring out the um, Israelites. And yet, look at, we you know, his first challenge with the, whenever he struck um, the Egyptian, you know, he ended up just fleeing. He was afraid, he was running for his life. And it was actually only after 40 years of wandering in the wilderness, only after 40 years of everything been stripped away from him, of having nothing of his position or title or power to rely on, of just, you know, coming to a place of complete weakness, that God um, starts to use him. And remember Moses' reaction, he was like, Lord, don't use me. At that stage, he couldn't even speak properly. He was stuttering, he was afraid, he felt so weak, he felt so unequipped, unqualified for the task. And it was at that very time that the Lord says, now you're ready for me to use you. Isn't that incredible? It's at those times where we feel like we're a bit of a mess, we're a bit of a screw up, we've made loads of mistakes, we've got a lot of things wrong, we, could, we feel like we've done more wrong than right. Actually, God's saying, see when you're in that place, when you're no longer thinking, I can do it, I've got it, I've got this covered, I've got this sorted. That's when the Lord can use you because you are so aware of your reliance on him and so aware of how much you can get it wrong in your own strength. And you know, that's when God says, then I, you know, I can, I can come in, I can step in and I can show you my goodness and I can show you my blessing and I can show you my favor. And if you think of what he did then and the incredible things that Moses achieved in his life, it was from that point of surrender, from that point of weakness, from that point of giving up in anything that he could do in his own strength, that actually the Lord, you know, look at what happened with the children of Israel and that incredible deliverance and the incredible strength that Moses showed time and time again when he started to Pharaoh. I mean, that was incredible, but he didn't feel he could do it in himself. And that's what, so I'm saying today, if you feel unqualified, if you feel you haven't got it all together, if you feel like you can't really see how this is gonna work out, you're in the right place. You're in a good place because you can just say, Lord, I don't know, but you know. I don't feel I've got it all together, but you have. And it's you that's working in me, it's your wisdom. And isn't that incredible? Because Jesus became for us the wisdom of God. 
and his spirit lives within us. So when we don't have the answers or we don't think we have them, we can just say, Jesus, I know that you do and I trust you. And Andrew and I have been chatting this week. There was things that we were praying about a couple of years ago. And it's probably been in the last few months that we've seen things start to change. And those things we were praying about five years ago, and it was maybe like three years later that we started to see them change. And we were reminding ourselves that, you know what? Life isn't instant. God is continually leading us on this journey. And things don't just happen overnight. And when they don't happen overnight, we start to get discouraged and we think God's not listening. And you know, is he in this? Is he with us? What's happening? But God is saying, trust me believe in me, I am turning all the messes, I am ch changing things all around, I am working behind the scenes of your life and I will get you to where I need you to be and I will reveal my glory in you. So let's be encouraged today. And why does he do that? He does that because of the work of Jesus on the cross, because of the Lord's goodness. So let's celebrate that and remind ourselves today. You know, when we do this every day, and this is not a ritual, this is because this is where our power and our strength comes from. It comes from the finished work of Jesus. So Jesus, we remind ourselves today that your body was broken, that you laid down your life today so that we could live in wholeness and freedom and have life in all of its fullness. So we receive that healing from you today through that broken body, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we remind ourselves today of our righteousness in you, Jesus, that we don't look at our mistakes and our failures, but we thank you, Jesus, that we're clothed in your righteousness that we stand complete, that we are the righteousness of God in Christ. Thank you, Lord. So remind yourself of that today. Remind yourself that Jesus who became for us the wisdom of God, his wisdom is within you today and he is working through you. So rest and trust in him. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.